Let's bring on Misha Tate to the show. This is going to be the biggest day. How, How are, are you? you? Come on over. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. This is going Hi. to be the biggest Hi. day in the history of the UFC uh, in New York. Now, let's start with this for, for the audience, because I'm new to UFC. I, I, I know Dana White. I worked in Vegas for years. I understand boxing. You, I was a boxing guy. I have transitioned into a UFC person. Yeah, and I've gone. That's to, how the story goes. Yeah, my wife. My wife likes it. She's cool with it. She went to it. She loved it. You were, so basically, Holly Holm beats um, uh, Ronda Rousey, and then you beat Holly Holm, and then you faced um, uh, Amanda Nunes, who's darn tough, and she beat you. The women's division is upset, 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 upset. Why? I don't know. I guess we like to keep it exciting, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it does feel like it's just next person up. Well, you know what? It just goes to show that the division is thickening, and that's how competitive that it is. You oh. know, a lot of people for a long time were saying, oh, there's no depth. There's no uh, depth. That Well, I think we've disproved that recently. You know, there's uh, hungry women every, you know, that are right around the corner, and it's, um, yeah, I don't know. I think we're proving that there's depth. Listen, you're a beautiful young lady. You could have chosen a lot of things. You choose this. The overwhelming conversation I have among people when I talk to a UFC fighter and a, a, a female fighter, they say, why? Look at you. You could do a million things. Why? Well, you know what? It's funny. People say, oh, you chose MMA. I didn't really. It chose me. Honestly, it really, I feel like this sport has been seeking me out since I was 15 and I started wrestling. And I just found that I have a true love and passion for um, contact sports. And um, I just wasn't afraid to go for it. So I really, yeah, I, it's not like I, I thought I was going to be a fighter. I thought I was going to grow up and be a fighter, you know. Um, wouldn't say that outside of fighting that I'm a, a violent person by any means. But, but I love competition, and I just think that's the most pure, raw form of competition. So once I got a taste of that, it was kind of like a shark smelling blood in the water. It just kind of seemed to make sense. Is there animosity about Ronda Rousey on Ellen yesterday saying a couple of fights left? She was dominating for a while, then she gets punched in the head, kicked in the head, and she's like, you know, I'm 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 kind of moving on. Is there animosity that girl, come on. Like now now you now somebody punches back and you're leaving the sport. No, you know what? I think she was planning on leaving the sport before she fought Holly. You know, she had made some comments about mm -hmm. her career kind of coming to a to a head and and you know, the culmination of everything. So, I it's to me it's not news. I know everyone's so excited about that comment for some reason or, or I wouldn't say excited, but you know, just like, "Oh, wow." It got really? everybody's attention. It got everyone's attention exactly, but I feel like I already knew that. You know, I know it's a race against the clock. You know, people have asked me, "What do you think?" I was like, "Well, I I don't know how much longer she's going to fight." And that's before she made that comment so uh hopefully i'll get another shot you know at some point but we're just got to kind of see how it all unfolds so when i went to the forum to watch uh the the, the fight and, and and by the way when you fought amanda nunez it was the fight on the card it was it's amazing 10 years ago if you'd have told me women fight it's going to be bigger than men i'd been like you're out of your gourd right and it is <laughs> it is so i want you to take my audience to this because this is fascinating to me football basketball i'm part of a, a team in boxing when I used to be in Las Vegas and I'd watch Tyson fights, I'd be sitting four rows deep and I would get nervous for Tyson. I've never been nervous watching athletes. But when you walk in New York City, Madison Square Garden, you're going to walk into the octagon. Take my audience into that 90 seconds. Uh, it's incredible. It's really that like so much anticipation. You're waiting, you know, you're back behind the curtains. You can hear the crowd. You hear that your walkout music starts to play and everything just starts to hone in all that distraction and everything really starts to kind of get into a tunnel vision. And pretty soon all you see is the cage. And then pretty soon all you see is the person standing across the cage from you. And, you know, you're just staring that person down and you know that you're about to get in a fist fight. And um, it's a pretty crazy feeling, but it, it's also um, sort of a peaceful feeling, if you will. I feel kind of like right at home, ready to do what I love to do. Are you never nervous? I mean, I get a little bit nervous, but I know a lot of fighters that really suffer heavily from anxiety. So I think in comparison, I'm pretty calm. But um, you, of course, because fear of failure is, is nerve-wracking. I and mean, I think fear is a good motivator. Um, but n not scared to do what I do, more like afraid to fail, or like putting so much work into something and so then not have it team, go your, your way. Staff and all of those. course, you know, I don't want to let anyone down. Yeah. Uh, uh, Misha Tate is joining us, UFC star, former women's bantamweight champ, UFC 205 in New York City. So what is the greater feeling? With, with Holly Holm, you like choke her out, right? Right. Like, and then you can knock somebody out. Like yeah. for you, like I would think if I was a boxer, right to the chin, timber, <laughs> great feeling. Yeah. Nothing against choking out, but that's like wrestling. 
It's right. not as dr- I would think for you, is there greater satisfaction in pow or a choke out? Well, um, I think it's more exhilarating probably honestly to knock someone out or knock them down to see them drop from just delivering straight power to the face. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of skill that goes into like a submission. You don't get lucky submissions. You know, there is a skill set. You can get a lucky punch. We've all seen the lucky knockout. You know, he throws rock from the back pockets and, you know, gets a knockout. I mean, sure. that can happen. But with a submission, there takes a lot. There's a lot of setup to it. I mean, you've got to close distance without getting, taking damage. You usually got to get it to the ground typically. And then you've got to maneuver on the ground and you've got to set up a specific plan and find that opening, you know, whereas with striking, it's, it is a very exhilarating feeling. And, and I would love nothing more than, than to get a knockout my next fight, but pros to both. Okay. So Amanda Nunez uh, is now she's involved in a fight. Can, do you root for or against other women? Like, like if, let's say uh, Holly fights, you know, Rousey again, do you have favorites? Do you have animosity toward people that beat you? Yeah. How can you root for somebody who knocked you out? Um, well, it's easy because it's like if you if they continue doing well and you continue doing well, then you know you'll meet again. And you'll make more money. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. So, yeah, exactly. So, so what's your training like? <laughs> it's pretty hardcore. I was actually sparring yesterday. I had some great rounds in, um, you know, in the gym four to six hours a day. Do you ever spar with men? Oh, yeah. That's what I would think. Pretty much mostly. Mostly men. Mostly men. Professional boxers. Yeah, boxers, wrestlers, grapplers. Is there Pretty someone impressive. who you prefer to win between Amanda and uh, Rhonda? Um, not I think necess- Rhonda's going to get smoked. Not necessarily, because obviously I feel like I want to fight them both. Um, you know, I really like Amanda. Obviously, I have the personal beef with Rhonda. The thing is, the problem is, I think if Rhonda loses, I'm fearful that she won't fight anymore. So that's the only thing that's like, well, I still selfishly really would like to fight Ronda again, so is, that's uh, that's the thing. Is like, do you have respect for Ronda's game? Of course, yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's one of the greatest of all time. You know, um, how would I, you like to knock her out? Oh, it'd be great. I'd love like it. How, if, you, if I said ideal, ideal way to knock out Rousey, how would, would it be? Ideal way. Well, it would just be to, to deliver a knockout punch. I don't know. I mean, Timber. like you, you're asking like right hand, left hand, which well, one? Okay. <laughs> when, when, when she got when she got smoked by Holly Holm and like hid. Yeah. Not strong. Well, you know, I don't know. To each his own. You know, her and I are very different, and we don't seem to identify in many many ways. But um, what's the way you don't identify? Oh man, that that's a long list. I think it would probably be easier to list the ways that we do. <laughs> but no, you know, I think the thing is, it's like for me, it's um, I think I handle adversity differently. Um, just, maybe I could argue better because yeah. I've. I've experienced those losses and been able to pick myself up and just get back up on the horse, you know, like this last one. Obviously, it was devastating to me. It was not a great night for me, but, you know, I sucked it up and I went I went to the, the you know, post-fight press conference and yeah. answered the questions with the broken nose. And, um, you know, now here I am, you know, with another quick turnaround, I will be on the path of redemption, you know, come UFC 205. I'm yeah. going to take a bite out of the apple. Uh, fight in New York, and I'm really excited to just get back in there and do do what I love. You know, one fight never defines me, and that's that's what it is. Like one fight never defines me, whether it's a win or it's a loss. It doesn't make or break who I am at the end of the day. I just want for as a woman, it's it's hard for me to imagine getting punched in the face or punching another that's woman. It's a mindset. You like have to. Did, I know I don't have that mindset. Did you always have that mindset that you could do When's that? When's the first time you got smoked and that somebody punched you? Man, not necessarily. So I started with wrestling. So I was really comfortable with that. But then when I started striking, I had so many, you know, kind of bad habits from wrestling, really flat footed. And I felt so, it felt so odd to me to get punched in the face by guys. It was frustrating to me. And especially because I'm so competitive, I, I would get angry. But um, then once I, I actually began to learn a skill set. Then I then I started to enjoy it. If that makes I like sense. Misha. And, and next time you're sick, we'll put Misha in for a show. Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course. I think she's very I'll good. I'll support her over here. Okay. Awesome. She'll stand See? up to you because she's Get a strong that woman, woman power thing going on.